These are the Derwent Black books. So we have lovely, rich, deep black paper inside, all held together and bound by this lovely matte finish hardback cover and the elastic band to keep all the pages in place, which is really useful if you're using it to store photographs or put, put your photographs in and uh, scrapbook making and things like that. When the pages get expanded, that elastic band really helps to keep them, everything in place. Okay, so as you can see, I've been having a little draw with some colour soft uh, on, the black, on the black paper. This one's just purely in white. And it was just to try and uh, illustrate how when you're drawing on the black paper, everything's got to be done in reverse. So where you'd usually spend most of your time penciling in dark areas, you've got to do the reverse here. You're having to concentrate on the, on the highlights. So where you want it really dark, you don't put anything at all. Or if you do want to shade it slightly, it's a very, very, very pale shade. And letting the black paper show through give you different tones. So what I'm using here is Colour Soft and it, it works really, really well on the black paper. I'll give you a quick demo. Look how bright those colours come up. Red in particular, what beautiful colour. All the different possibilities here. You can have all sorts of flowers and animals, butterflies. It's just really, really vibrant and really, really shows off the black paper and vice versa. Because they're so soft and easy to use, the colour really transfers to the black beautifully. You've got that really bright, intense colour coming through. I'm just going to add a little flower to this uh, bit of crafty work. And you should be able to see here how, how nicely the, the metallics are showing up on the black. The other pencils that work extremely well with the black paper are the pastel pencils. I'm just going to show you a really quick little project you can do. It won't take as long at all, so you can see how it works. I'm going to do a little moon scene and see how, how extremely bright that white is on the black. Remember the moon's not completely thing, so I'll leave a bit of shadow area there. I'm going to blend that in a minute. I'm going to lay down sort of blue haze around the moon, which will get blended into the night sky and a bit of purple after that. Have the horizon of the sea. That's where we know it's going to be. Okay, I'll start blending this in a bit. So, blues in around the, around the moon. Like that. I'm going to blend in some tone on the moon itself and then. I think I probably will go back over the top with some white just to make it stand out in certain areas. Blow away that. A bit of reflection from the moon down there on the sea. And some highlights from the moon itself. Give them a little blend in. Very quick and simple, moon over the sea.